here I have the blocked out background and the blocked out body. Um, when working with my color choices, I've decided to use more of a purple red color palette. So that's why the body colors are not exactly normal. Then we have the hair blocked out, which is the red. And so whenever you are also done using a paintbrush, it's best to put it back in your uh, paint wash cup. See, wash it all up. And when using acrylic paint, and usually only with acrylic paint, it is easy to also move around the colors with water so that way you can manipulate it though given that if you do use water to manipulate the paint the quality and the opacity of the color goes down so it's a little less pigmented and it's a little more runny like watercolors so we just got a couple of shadings and stuff and this is just to block it out. You now you can work on it more later, but this is just showing you the basics. And you have all these paintbrushes that you can use and for fine tip or for details. And in the very end, once you've applied your gloss medium to seal the whole painting completely off, and that means you're done with your painting. It will look something along the lines of this one. See, it's a little shiny, has that glossy finish. It's all sealed, nothing's gonna be touched or removed. And there you go, that's how you paint on a wood panel.